In this video, I'm gonna talk about turning the Zeiss Duramax machine on. So we walk up to a machine that's dead, say there's a powder, power outage or something, or we'll just turn it off at the end of a shift. First thing we'll do, turn the CPU on. I'll include a picture, but it's just in it like any other PC on the planet, power button, easy peasy. It'll show you your desktop, but you don't wanna open Calypso yet. You wanna turn the machine itself on and then open Calypso. So how do we turn the machine on? It's basically two steps. We turn the controller on, which turns all the machinery back here on. You'll hear a fan fire up. That's why the audio is so quiet right now. And then you turn the drives on. So let me show you. On our handy keyboard here, on this side is a power button. When it's out, it's off. When it's pushed in, it's on, right? This could be a little tricky to find when you're walking around the machine looking for a, a power button, but it's, it's right here. So I'm just gonna press that button and you can hear the machine start to spool up. But that's not it. This won't get you where you need to go. It's gonna load up. You'll see it kind of go through some stuff. There'll be a logo on this little screen right here. When you see numbers, so things like coordinates on there, you'll know it's ready to turn the drives on. If you can see, we've got a little image of a probe here, and then we've got coordinates. If you notice, there's no blinking lights on here, except for the locks, which are kind of always blinking. Now we know we're ready to turn the drives on. If we tried to drive it around right now, joysticks don't do anything, okay? So I'm gonna hit that M button. M stands for drives. And that's going to allow us to move the machine. If you can see the probe moving behind me, joystick gives us control, okay? So step one, turn on the controller. Step two, turn on the drives. Now, all that's good. We could drive this thing around, but we're not inputting it into anything, right? We'd just be probing air, there's no program. So the next step is to go to our desktop or start menu, find Calypso, double click, and get Calypso to load up. You'll typically have to enter a password into Calypso, hit OK, and then it's gonna ask you to home the machine. Now this takes a couple minutes for Calypso to do its thing. What homing does is take the probe from wherever it's at and then move it to that upper left corner as you're facing the machine. What you wanna watch out for when the machine is going home are obstacles. So not too many obstacles on here, but say I wasn't paying attention, if I had the probe right there, it'd smash right into it on its way over to home. So the best way to avoid any kind of issues is to move the probe above all possible obstacles, okay? When it goes home, it won't smash into anything. To turn the machine off, we'll do the opposite. You turn Calypso off, terminate it, and then all you have to do is hit this button. You don't necessarily have to turn the drives off first. If you have to turn the machine off quick, you can hit this emergency disconnect, which will disconnect Calypso from the machine. It takes a couple minutes to get it hooked back up again. If you think you can do it safely, if you just need to stop the machine, turn the speed dial all the way down. The machine will stop doing what it's doing essentially performing the same function as the emergency stop button, okay? If you feel it's a safety issue, by all means hit that emergency stop. Just know it's gonna take a couple minutes for the machine to reconnect. So that's all, that's it for this video. Turning the machine on, turning the machine off, and a couple helpful hints with the homing and the emergency stop, okay? So if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Look for more content about the Zeiss Duramax machine with Calypso in the future.